So, there is a lot of speculation going around that Andy Mack was a big reason on why Girl Meets World got cancelled. And my question to you guys is, how do you feel about that? What's going on, YouTube? Uh, so ever since Girl Meets World ended and Andy Mack was announced, and Disney came out with some statements regarding all of this, it's been heavily speculated that Andy Mack is a really big reason on why Girl Meets World got canceled. I mean, if you look at when Andy Mack airs, it even has Girl Meets World's old time slots. Now that's not the biggest reason for the speculation, but that's just something I noticed. I I think the biggest reason is just because Disney has already came out and said that they wanted to go in a different direction with their network going forward. And you see all of these new shows coming out like Andy Mack and Raven's Home, and maybe they didn't have enough room for Girl Meets World anymore. Maybe they didn't have the desire or the need for Girl Meets World anymore. But my question for you guys, let's just assume for a second because we'll probably never know for sure, but let's just assume that Andy Mack was indeed the main reason that Girl Meets World got canceled. How do you feel about that? Is that trade-off worth it to you? Let's just say that we get four seasons of Andy Mack. And if Girl Meets World never got canceled, we would have gotten one more season at the most. Would you rather have one more season of Girl Meets World or four seasons of Andy Mack? Now, obviously, Girl Meets World only fans are gonna say Girl Meets World because they don't even like or watch Andy Mack. And vice versa. I'm talking mainly to the people who like both shows. Like me personally, I have a strong love and respect for both shows. But I'm already on record as to saying that I think Andy Mack is the better show. But for me, if you were to ask me what would I rather have, four seasons of Andy Mack or one more season of Girl Meets World, I mean... <laughs> It's it's no contest. I mean, for me, that's almost like asking, you know, would you rather live for one more year or four more years? That's kind of how I look at it. So assuming that Andy Mack was the reason that Girl Meets World got canceled, I mean, it sucks for Girl Meets World because I did love that show, but at the same time, they replaced that show with a better one in my eyes, so I can easily live with that fact. And we still have three seasons worth of memories to go back to regarding Girl Meets World. And I've already fully moved on with my life with Andy Mack. So, for me personally, it is what it is. But, let me know what you guys think and how would you feel if Andy Mack was the reason for Girl Meets World's cancellation? Let me know. But I'm done talking. Nah. If you guys really enjoy my videos and want to help me make many more videos for you guys going forward, especially if you want me to talk about a certain TV show that I'm not currently talking about, check out that Patreon link in the description box. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. But as always, until next time.